and this is our fourth video I think we've got this drawn out and we've got space down here below because we're going to add an important component to this so I've drawn again red blood cells plus antigens so the red blood cells have these things on them remember they're called antigens this is red blood cell row here and then we've got plasma down here which has antibodies in it and antibodies are the things that are your little soldiers that fight against uh, in, uh, intruders into the system that should not be there so we've got plasma that contains antibodies in this bottom row and so remember these columns go together uh, type A blood has B antibodies. That means that a person that has these red blood cells in their body never wants to see anything that has a B on it. So they don't like these. They're against or they are anti-B and so on and so on and so on. All right, so we'll do that several times as we talk about this. Now, one thing to be very, very cognizant of is this row, this top row with just the red blood cells in it, this is the donor row. And by that, we mean that when you give blood to someone, unless you are giving whole blood, which would be the entire uh, unfractionated or non-centrifuged uh, non version, but when, you're, when you've got the blood fractionated, you only give those heavy things at the bottom. You only give the red blood cells to someone. And so what matters is you're giving away this row, but the recipient has this row in them, don't they? Because they have everything. They, are, they have whole blood in their bodies. You're only giving them a red blood cell, but they are receiving the red blood cell as an entire uh, person. So they have whole blood in them. And that means that they have uh, whatever antibody in their plasma uh, waiting to defend them. And so this plasma row, we want to think of this as the recipient row. I'm just going to write recipient row on here just to remind you that this is the recipient row. We have to worry about this row when we're thinking about giving blood to someone. We donate only red blood cells so this is the donor row, but the recipient row, we have to look at what soldiers do they have in their, uh, in their vascular system that's going to attack anything that we put in there, okay? So we have to put something in there that they won't attack. So we're looking at the recipient row here. Now with that said, let's, let's just look at these. Let's talk about this guy. So if I were to just think of this guy right here, type A, this person has red blood cells with A antigens on them. And we know that this person has B antibodies. We're saying that this is a whole person, so this would be the recipient. This person has B antibodies, and that means that this person does not like B type blood. So what type out of all of these types could this person definitely receive? Which, which type out of all of these do you think this person could receive. So this is the receive. What type could this person receive? Could this person receive this type? Could I give them one of these red blood cells? Could an A type person receive an A type red blood cell? Is there anything down here that says no, we don't like A's? No, there's not. So this person could receive a. You can always get your own blood type. Now we haven't done we haven't done RH factor. We're coming back to that. This is just basic. All right? So this person could definitely, this whole person could definitely receive more of these. They look just like theirs. All right? There's nothing down here that says we don't like A's. They just only don't like B's. So could this person receive this red blood cell? Is there anything right here that they don't like? Anything right here that this doesn't like, that the plasma doesn't like. Exactly. So this person's antibodies are Bs. They don't like Bs, and that's a B cell, so we're not putting that in there. Could this person, could this person receive this cell? Could this person 
this whole person receive this cell? Is there anything on this AB cell, any antigen on here that this, this person's plasma does not like? This person's plasma does not like. Right. There's Bs, right? There's a B right there. There's some B antigens. So I can see right here that type A people don't like Bs, and there's some Bs in there. So can't put A, B in there because there's a B. Even though there's an A, there's still a B, and they don't like Bs. Let's look at type O. Could this person, could this person, this whole person, receive this red blood cell? Now, some of you might answer no, but think about it. Is there anything right here in the plasma that doesn't like something on O? Is there anything on O? Does it have any thing on it at all? No. If it had A's, it would look just like this one, but it doesn't have any B's on it. And this person, this, this person doesn't like B's and that's the only thing they don't like. And there's no B's on here. So the O is cool. That works out. There's nothing on here that's offensive to this person. All right. I think you got the hang of it, but let's do B's. And I'm going very slowly. You can always forward the video if you already know what to do. Let's look at this person. Let's look at type B. Now, we know the B red blood cell with the little B's on it has A antibodies. They do not like A's. So let's talk about that. What type of blood could this person receive no matter what? The type that looks just like them, right? B. And they're always going to receive their own type. Now, it gets a little more complicated again. This person, is there anything in this person that doesn't like this A cell? Right? Anything right here that doesn't like A's. Exactly. So B types have A antibodies. They are against A. They don't like A. So A is out. No A's are allowed. Let's look at this person, this B person with AB. Is there anything on this AB cell that this B person doesn't like? Is there anything on this cell that this person doesn't like. Right. They don't like A's, and there's A's on that cell. I know they're AB, but there's A's on there too, so that's out. You can't, can't receive that one. Let's look at O's. Is there anything on O's that's offensive to this person? No. So O is fine. All right. So you think you got it? Okay. Let's do AB's. Let's look at this person. There's this person. Just gonna look at this whole person here. Now look at what they don't like. Nothing. They like everybody. So first question you ask yourself is what could they always get? They could always get their own. You can always give them more of themselves. So they can get A, B. They can always get something that's just like that. How about could this person get this cell? Could you put this cell in this body? Would that be okay? Could you put this cell in this body? Is there anything here that doesn't like A's? Give us an A. Right. So there's nothing down here that says we don't like A's. I don't see any A antibodies. So A is okay. Now let's look at this person again with this cell. Is there anything in this person that doesn't like this cell? Is there anything in this person that doesn't like this cell? No. Bees are okay too. And I think you can answer this one. Is there anything in this person, this person, that doesn't like this cell? Is there anything offensive on this cell to this person? Nope. So that's pretty cool. That means that ABs, people that have both A and B antigens on their red blood cells, can receive all four types of blood. Now that's not across the board because we haven't added the positive or the negative to them yet. So I'm just going to point that out. Now you know why.
they can receive all four all four types. We'll we'll add the positive and negative in another video. But for now, you can see why They're, they don't have any antibodies against this guy or this guy or this one. All right, let's do O. Let's do a little tricky O. So, O type, most common blood type. Look at this person. This person. What could O always get? Right. O can always get more of O. You can always give somebody that has O type more of that, more O. Now, could I take, here's, let's look at, look at this person again. Could I take an A and put it into this O type person? Is there anything in this person that doesn't like A's? Right. It says anti-A right there. They don't like A's, so A's are out. No A's. All right, maybe B's will give us better luck. Let's look at this person again. Is there anything, could we put this cell in here? Is there anything here that doesn't like B's? Could we take this cell and put it into this person? Is there anything in the recipient row that doesn't like B's? Exactly, it says it right there, B antibodies. So no B's are allowed, so that's out, no B's. How about AB? Oh my gosh, that has everything that O's don't like. <laughs> So could we take this cell and put it into this person? Absolutely not, because it doesn't like A's or B's, and there's A and B. So no, no A's or B's are allowed. So here's old O by itself. So even though it's the most common blood type, which is handy, because it can't receive any other blood types. Right? Can you see why? It can't because it doesn't like A's and it doesn't like B's. And all the other blood types have either A, B, or AB. Now, we'll do RH factor in another video.